All right, welcome back to Craft in Florida. Today's video is a little bit different. With everything going on in the news today, I kind of wanted to address how that would affect us as woodworkers and how to handle all that stuff. So we're going to dive into it, talk about a little bit about what's going on and how we can be prepared. Check it out. So we're sitting here in early October 2024. There's been a lot of different things going on lately. Number one, you have that hurricane and all the terrible destruction that that's caused. You've got people from the panhandle of Florida all the way up to the mountains in North Carolina are just devastated by that terrible storm. Now, prayers go out to them. I know there's a lot of people out there helping, and if there's any way you can help, Look and make sure you're donating to people that will directly help those that are out there because I've got friends up in the mountains of North Carolina that, I mean, towns are gone. So that's rough. Prayers for all them. Help them. We're going to talk a little bit more about how that storm, the longshoreman strike, and other big events like that can affect us as woodworkers and how to be prepared for it. So. The longshoremen strike, as of right now, they've come to an agreement. Hopefully that sticks and we don't have any issues. But there's something to look into if that fizzles out or doesn't work out exactly how we hope it does. And they do go on strike. How are we affected as woodworkers if the entire East Coast, all the ports kind of get shut down? So. We obviously produce in America a ton of forestry products. Pine, maple, walnut, oak. Those are all things that we produce a lot of, and that's good. We make plywood. Basically, any forestry product that you would get imported, we basically make it as well. Now, the prices tend to be a little bit higher because our workers get paid more on average. The thing to remember, though, is a lot of people use imported products. This strike that, again, they say they come to agreement, hopefully it sticks. The strike would affect the entire Gulf of Mexico, all the ports in Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, around Florida, and up the entire East Coast. So that's going to affect any imports coming basically through the Atlantic Ocean. Of the countries that we import the most forestry products from, the only two countries that would be affected that we we import a bunch from are Germany and Brazil. So we're talking a lot of manufactured wood products like MDF and particle board and you know melamine and stuff like that come from Germany. And then you have Brazilian walnut and some cedar and other products that come from down in Brazil. Those are things to kind of keep an eye on see if the prices tick up a little bit because of a drop in supply due to the strike. Now that strike didn't last very long. There shouldn't be much of a tick up in price, but just be aware of it because if something were to happen, those products are going to go up. And you're going to want to look for products that are coming from through the Pacific because that is a different union over there and they're not on strike. So of the countries that we import from, you have Canada being the number one. They produce a ton of forestry products up there, and obviously all those imports are coming on a truck just driving across the border. Mexico, we also import a bunch from them. Again, they can drive across the border. Now, would they probably, I'm sure they do ship across the, uh, the Gulf of Mexico to get up to Louisiana and Florida and kind of save some time, but they can still ship it on a truck or send it on a truck and get it in. So that shouldn't affect their price terribly. Other countries that we import a bunch from that would not be affected. There's a ton of product that comes from China. We imported $8.9 billion worth of forestry products from them back in 2022, according to the U.S. Trade Commission. We also imported $1.9 billion from Vietnam and 1.6 billion from Indonesia. 
Those places produce a ton of our plywood. If you see in some of the big box stores, a lot of their products are imported from those countries. They're coming in obviously through the West Coast and they throw them on trucks there and ship them over to us here on the East Coast. So understand where your product is coming from. If you're using imported goods, it's helpful to know what country those things are originated in so that you can be prepared if something like this happens. If they were to go on strike again, the entire East Coast, there's a lot of stuff that comes through there and it's worth knowing what is being affected and how are your prices going to jump up. The other thing to understand is, again, we produce a bunch of this stuff here in America ourselves. What are, what are your alternatives? And how much do those cost for domestic? If you were to look, like I know when I do plywood for my custom cabinets, I know that my domestic maple plywood is about probably 15 to 20% more than my, if I were to get imported maple. So knowing the difference in that, because when the strike happens and the ports get shut down, that import's probably going to jump up a little bit more because it's going to be harder for the distributors to get their hands on. So have domestic alternatives and understand also where a lot of that stuff's being produced. Now, I don't believe, I haven't looked into the Asheville area and the Western North Carolina as far as what's being produced up there as far as forestry products. I don't think we're terribly affected by that. I know that they grow a bunch of trees up there, but there tends to be a bunch of pines and hickory and stuff like that in those mountains. And more of the domestic lumber is produced in flatter lands, right? So you have a ton of pine produced in the south. You know, I know like my cousin's got pine trees in the panhandle. I know that Georgia has a ton of pines. And I know there's a ton of walnut and oak produced up in the Pennsylvania area and the Northeast. So understanding where these trees grow, where those sawmills are going to be, and if those are going to be affected by something like this, like a natural disaster. Like if you're buying a bunch of cedar that's produced on the West Coast and they have fires raging over there, which happens, you know, from time to time understand that those prices may go up because that's natural disasters that take out lumber you know will affect lumber prices right because a lot of people grow these things on tree farms and if those tree farms have a hurricane come through or a fire come through those crops are gone pray for those farmers but also understand that your price is going to go up because the supply has just gone down so be aware of current events how that Affects you as a woodworker because of the stuff that is affected on those current events. That includes, you know, if truckers were to go on strike, if these longshoremen go on strike, if natural disasters happen. All those things can affect us as businessmen, and we just need to be aware and be prepared. So that's really all this video is about. Understand what's happening in the world and how that affects you and your business be prepared have alternatives be a, be ready to stock up on stuff and kind of have an idea on what you can hold in your shop and how to get alternatives where to get them and what those prices are going to be appreciate you watching hopefully this is helpful if you have any other ideas leave it down in the comments hit the subscribe button thanks for watching crafting board